Heal Your Brain from Porn Timeline. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let's break it down together. How long will it take for your brain to heal from porn use? That is what we are talking about in this video. I am going to, first and foremost, break down the three stages of a porn brain reboot and how you can know you're in each stage and how you can know you're moving between them. And stay tuned until the last stage because the last stage incorporates the four phases of brain healing in a porn brain reboot. So let's dig in. Stage number one in a porn brain reboot. How long is it? First of all, stage one is going from 0% to 100% commitment. How long does that take? It takes anywhere between one second and a lifetime. Yep, you heard it. One second to a lifetime. But unfortunately, so many people get stuck in this stage for a very long time. And if that's you, if you've been struggling with leaving porn behind, I'm here to tell you it's because you're not fully committed. So when you get fully committed, you'll know. And I'm going to tell you how in just a second. But when you linger in that still wanting it, still needing it, not totally sure it's bad for you, haven't filled the void in your life that it right now consumes, you will not be able to get fully committed. So when you get fully committed, this is how you know. First of all, you have a mental shift inside. You can feel that you now want this. You want this for you. It's not that you want it because you're going to be in trouble with someone. It's not that you want it because your work is slipping and people are noticing. It is because you want to leave it behind so that you can become a better version of yourself. You can taste the victory on the other side and you have a goal of it and you know it might be challenging, but you're ready to go for it. You are literally, there's no guessing. So when that happens and you have this mental shift on the inside, then you won't have slips or relapses anymore. You will move through to the next stage of a porn brain reboot and you will buckle down and you will be excited to do the work that needs to be done. Not that you will enjoy a struggle if there is one for you, but you are ready for it and you can endure it. And you're going to create the structure and the discipline and develop the resilience that you need to be able to move into stage two. Now, once you get 100% committed, and again, it can take one second, but it also can take a lifetime. And for many people, it takes years. So if you've tried other methods, it might just be because you're not all the way committed. Now, let's say you are all the way committed and you move into phase two. How long does it take? It takes 90 days to unwire the brain pattern that is pushing you back into the screen. We know the screen pulls you, but it takes 90 days. So how do you accomplish it in 90 days? You have a plan. You need the plan to be able to start working it. If you don't have a plan, then you also can't be successful. So you might get 100% committed, but not know the right things to do. So what you need is number one, new knowledge. You can't solve the problem in the box if you're still in the box. You have to get outside of the box, learn what you don't know, and then get back in and take action steps and do the work. So it's two things in stage two. It is new knowledge and action steps. You can't just learn what you need to do. Self-awareness is great. When we create self-awareness, we're like, okay, now I know what I need to do. But then you need a very clear action step to go do. And for me, I like to take concepts and make them into a tangible action step. When I'm coaching people, we always have three to five action steps. So I'll take this thing that they're struggling with and it's a concept. It's just this idea. And I'll say, okay, here's the idea. Now let's put this into an action step that you can actually go use in your life minute by minute, day by day. 
That's how you move forward. You need a plan. That's why in these videos, I try always to give you new knowledge and an action step that you can build off of that new knowledge. So when you get done watching a video, you don't just go on to the next video, you go back into your life and you use the action step, the brain tip strategy that I've given you at the end of the video. That's how you're going to succeed. So make sure you look for those brain tip strategies, those action steps, and go do them. They will, in fact, help you. Okay, so when you're in stage two, it can be 90 days, literally 90 days for you to succeed, but you also need the proper support. That's why I'm here for you, to give you it. In these videos, you need someone to tell you, in fact, you can do this. I know it's challenging, but I also know that you're stronger than you know you are. I know you can do it if you want it. You need to want it, want it bad, 100%. Then you need your plan with your new knowledge and your action steps, and you need support. And I'm a great support here in these videos, but obviously people in real life are better support. I'm here to support you in real life if that's something that you want. If not, look for a coach, look for a therapist, Tell somebody in your world, tell your brother, your friend, your partner. When you are no longer in this alone, it comes out of the dark into the light and it may be a struggle for you because this hijacker, as I call it, has literally hijacked your brain. You are sometimes no longer the same person that you can and deserve to be. Your brain is literally controlled by the compulsive nature of poor news. It's pushed back in. The screen pulls you and your brain pushes you because it's been conditioned to go to the screen for dopamine, for dopamine hit to feel okay. So when you're at your less sane moments, you need someone to say, dude, you're not that sane right now. This is what we need to do. Stay with me here. Let's have some tea. Stay with me. Let's move through this time until your sanity returns. So that's going to move us into what happens in those first 90 days. We're still in stage two. What happens in those first 90 days, and this is how you know you're there, is that your brain will move through the addictive cycle of pornography consumption. There is a cycle for every single person, and you've been moving through it either knowingly or unknowingly since you started consuming. And the cycle goes like this. This is the short version, but I've talked about it in other videos. At the top of the cycle is a trigger or a stressor or boredom, and your brain goes, hmm, I think we should watch some porn because that would feel good for us. Then the minute you think that and you are, you buy into that idea, that insane idea, when you buy in, you go, yeah, that is a good idea, hijacker. What happens is you start get getting dopamine dripping. Or if your hijacker goes, I've got an idea, let's go on Instagram or social media. That hijacker is tricking you. He's tricking you into the slippery slope, moving you back to porn. So if that's been happening before, that's gonna happen now in these first 90 days, but you're not going to react in the same way. You're going to respond in an intentional way using your plan, your new knowledge and your action steps. And now you're gonna say, okay, I'm being triggered. I am not going towards a screen. I'm going towards my healthy dopamine producing activity. I'm going towards my pivot plan, the thing that I know that I'm gonna do instead. And now you get over the craving or the urge, and now you don't act out, which is down towards the bottom of the cycle. Instead of acting out, now you have a success. If you were to act out, what happens is now at the bottom of the cycle, you feel guilt and guilt moves to shame. Shame moves you towards the trigger which reactivates the cycle. But if you succeed and you don't give into the urge, because now you're 100% committed and you have a plan, and you are gonna buckle down and move through this cycle, now you succeed and you get a small win and your brain gets a smaller dopamine hit, but guess what it produces? Dignity and integrity. And when it produces dignity and integrity, you can move back through the cycle and guess what's gonna happen? You're probably gonna be triggered again and the cycle will continue. But if you don't act out in the cycle, it starts to loosen its grip on you. That's what the 90 days are designed for, so that the cycle and the hijacker loosen the grip and you get a grip on it through your small wins. And when you do, through that 90 days, you learn to control your brain and your brain is no longer controlled by porn. That's the second stage. 
90 days. Now we move into stage three. How long does stage three take? It can take anywhere from one year to three years. And that's a small time frame in your life. I know it might seem like an eternity, me telling you three years, but if you can get that sobriety and, and break that cycle in the first 90 days, it's no longer the same. It's no longer, it doesn't have the hold on you that it used to. And that's gonna move me to the four phases of healing that will happen in stage three, anywhere from one year to three years. And you know how healing works. The more things that you do, that, and the more positive things you do if you're trying to heal, the shorter the healing time frame. And as I was putting this video together, I was thinking about my time when I had COVID. And these are, it's gonna lead us into the phases. But when I got COVID, I was super sick for one week. Literally could not even get out of my bed for one week. That's the acute phase. And I'm gonna break down these phases in a second. But then, then I could get out of my bed, but I could literally only go a few steps to my couch. And that happened for a week. But then, I could go from my bed to my couch and I could actually make it into the kitchen in week three. Then slowly, day by day, I could get a little further and my husband would say, let's go for a walk. And I'm like, dude, I literally can't go for a walk. And I would call it COVID shaming because he was like, let's go for a walk. You need to, it'll be good for you. I'm like, I just can't yet. But as soon as I could, I'd start taking little walks to get my nervous system, get my blood flowing. And it took me, um, it took me over a month. It was almost two months before I actually felt remotely decent. And it took about three or four months for me to fully come back from it. So those are the phases. It doesn't happen overnight. So that will happen within the year or if, it can take longer, up to three years, but the more positive things that you do, like I took vitamin D, I didn't eat any junk, I took a lot of supplements, I rested all the time more than I wanted to in those phases when I could have probably pushed myself more, but I, I continued to rest. I did all the positive things for healing. Okay, so in this stage three, there's four phases of healing. And this is based on the four phases of healing a wound, because this is a wound to your brain. We know that pornography consumption literally damages your brain. It damages your brain structurally, it damages your brain functionally. And it's easy to think about these four phases. Okay, number one is hemostasis which literally means stopping the bleeding. You must stop the bleeding before your brain can heal. That's why it's important to not slip and to not have relapses because every time you have a slip or a relapse, you are in fact opening the wound again. So you have to close that wound before you can move to the second phase of healing. To stop the bleeding, you must stop watching pornography. It's just a must. Every time you go back, you are in fact just opening that wound a little bit and it will take it, take you longer and longer and longer to heal. So, so hear that. That's why you got to get committed and, and you have to use those 90 days to really break the cycle so that then you can stop the bleeding. The bleeding stopped. And after the bleeding is stopped, phase number two is inflammation in, in healing a wound. Inflammation is, you know, you've had it before if you've ever gotten hurt, where your body swells up. In the swelling, what's happening is your body's resources are moving towards that area to protect it from infection and to protect it so that it can move to the next phase of healing. So it's ready to move on to to phase three, which is proliferation. Pro proliferation means your cells are proliferating. They are making many new ones. And for our purposes, we can literally think of it as neurogenesis, the creation of new nerve cells in the brain, and especially the creation of new neural pathways in the brain. So we must stop the bleeding, protect that wound so it doesn't open up again, that's gonna be your 90 days. And then we're gonna to move to proliferation where we're going to create new things to keep the healing going. 
In this phase, you build the structure from the plan that you've learned in the 90 days. You build a flexibly scheduled life that no longer needs pornography because it is serving you in every way that you need. And at the same time, you've also healed the trauma from the past that might have been driving you back into the screen. You've rewired your brain so that it is healthier. It's using the optimal electrical energy pattern and it no longer needs to be calmed and stimulated. So now you're doing new things. You're proliferating. You are growing. You're changing. You're improving. So what that does is it moves us into phase four, remodeling. And this is what I call hardwiring. So now that we've set up this structured life that can create new and wonderful things for you, now we have to make sure we remodel all the pieces so that this is the life that will continue to serve you over time. At the same time, through phase two and it, through stage two, the 90 days, and stage three, these four phases of healing that might take one to three years, you've also learned how to continually evaluate your life so that if anything comes your way, AKA you're triggered again, you not only have the structure, but you also have the knowledge and the wherewithal and the resilience to be able to do what you need to do to handle the trigger and to make healthy decisions. You're smarter, you're stronger, you're wiser, you're more prepared. That's what happens over this one to three years. And again, the more things you do at the outset, the shorter the time frame of healing overall. Okay, so your brain tip for this video is get committed. Do what you need to do. For every person out there, there's a different thing that gets them committed. Sometimes it's their families. Sometimes it's their partners. Sometimes it's your work. Sometimes it's the vision of you in the future being, being that full potential aspect of yourself that's thriving. Sometimes it's just the sheer moral incongruency of the pornography that you're consuming. Or sometimes people learn about human trafficking in the pornography industry. And that's a big red flag for them that they are not going back to uh, videos that exploit human beings. Sometimes it's the fact that they realize, you realize that the porn industry is taking advantage of you and you won't be victimized by it anymore. You gain your strength and you say, no way, man, I'm not like, gonna let that industry take advantage of me. No way, man, I'm gonna become healthy and I'm going to control my own brain. Sometimes that's a motivator. Find your motivator. Then once you're committed, get into stage two. Find a program that fits you and serves you. I offer programs on my website, drtrishlee.com, but if those aren't the programs for you, keep looking. Find a coach, find someone, interview some people, get into a program, spend some time. It is essential that you get new knowledge, new tools, new strategies, new action steps, and that you have the support that you need to move through those 90 days to break the cycle so that you can move into the third stage, one to three years of moving through, learning how to stop the bleeding, learning how to protect yourself so that you no longer open that wound, learning how to populate new skills, do new things, heal your brain, create new brain cells, create new neural pathways, and then hardwire them in for long-term success. And if you engage yourself in these three stages, you will evolve. There's no way you won't. And when you evolve, you will move towards the goal that you set. You'll leave porn behind. Your brain will heal itself. Any of the symptoms that you are experiencing in your body, like delayed ejaculation, like erectile dysfunction, like anxiety, depression, social anxiety is a really big one, health anxieties, any challenges that you have with your thinking, with your mental health, and with your physical body, they will heal, but not until that third stage, one to three years usually is when you can count on it. And then you will be exactly what you want and deserve to be and where you want and deserve to be. And I'd love to be part of that. If it feels good, go check out drtrishley.com. But even if you don't do that, find a program that serves you. 
because I want you to succeed and I know you can. Okay, until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.